Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Sherpa Reach, and I'll be doing another book haul. Before I get started, if you are new to this channel, please don't hesitate to subscribe down below as well as the notification bell. And if you're new, hi, hello, I'm Stephanie. I do a lot of bookish content, but let's just get around all the books that I got in the past couple months. So I already did a first book haul of 2023. I'll link that video above and down below in case you want to check that out. And since then, I've accumulated quite a number of books again. So without further ado, and without spending too much time on each book, because I have quite a number of books to go through, let's get right into it. The first book I got over here is from my Goldsboro subscription, and that is The Book of Eve by Meg Clothier. First, let's take a look at how stunning this book is. It is gorgeous. I have no idea what this book is about. It says, in the name of the father, not a word of this, her letters are forbidden. It's about a woman, her name is Beatrice, who is the convent librarian. For years, she has shunned the company of her sisters, finding solace only with her manuscripts. Then, one carnival night, two women, bleeding and stricken, are abandoned outside the convent walls and then from there one of them presses something into her hands a bewitching book whose pages have a dangerous life of their own i am intrigued next book on here came from the publisher and that is librarian of burn books by brianna labuskis i'm hoping i pronounced that name correctly it says it is a captivating world war ii era novel about the intertwined fates of three women who believe in the power of books to triumph over the very darkest moments of war and it's inspired by a true story I'm intrigued by this book. I haven't read that many good historical fictions recently. I've only read one out of like so many that I really enjoyed. So I'm excited to dive into another historical fiction sometime soon. The next book I got also came I think from the publisher Unsolicited and that is Nightbreaker by Coco Ma. This book is out in September 2023, so this is actually a really early edition. Uh, it says, 15 years ago, the vanishing thrust Manhattan into darkness, forever changing the city that never sleeps. By day, resilient New Yorkers have adapted, clinging to the vestiges of their cosmopolitan lives. By night, well, you never go out at night unless you have a death wish or unless you're Ray Reynolds. I'm curious, guys. Like, I'm here to see this dystopian in New York City, especially considering I used to live there. So very excited about this one. Then this next book I got is from Goldsboro, and that is A Day of Fallen Night by Samantha Shannon. This book is such a chunker. This is the prequel to Priory of the Orange Tree, which I read a couple years ago. And even though I, I enjoyed that book, but like it was a struggle to get through just because it's how dense and how slow it was. So I'm like, curious about this one definitely a little intimidated but because i really enjoy that book i do want to know like the prequel of it so I'm still very excited for this one all right then this next book i got is actually a book that i've read previously but i wanted the hardcover um since i didn't have a copy and that is the city of brass by sk chakabori i read the series i loved it highly recommend it if you haven't read it already now this next book is one that i'm super excited for one of my most anticipated reads for this entire year and that is the adventures of amina al sirafi by shannon chakabori Bori, aka SK Chakabori. This is her newest fantasy series. First of all, look at this beauty of a book and like the inside too is stunning. Like I don't know if you can tell but it's actually like gold plated or something. Like it is such a stunning book. I am so excited. Look at this. Like it is gorgeous. All I know is that this is about like pirates and high seas and I'm excited because I love her books and her writing so definitely cannot wait to read this soon. Next book I got is a fairy loot book and that is City of Nightmares by Rebecca Schaefer. This is a book that is stunning as always. I have no idea what this book is about but it says ever since her sister became a man-eating spider and slaughtered her way through town, 19 year old Ness has been terrified. Terrified of some other nightmare murdering her and terrified of ending up like her sister. Bruh. I would be too. Like, what the fuck? Uh, because in New Ham, the city that never sleeps, dreaming means waking up as your worst fear. I am shooketh. I did not know that's what this book was about. Um, but I'm intrigued. I'm definitely intrigued. Next book I got came unsolicited by the publisher, and that is Stars and Smoke by Mary Lou. This book is, I have no idea. It says, a superstar, a secret agent, a once-in-a-lifetime mission. It's about a guy, his name is Winter Young, who is a rookie backup dancer uh, who has turned into a global pop phenomenon. And then one day, there is a... Uh, daughter of a criminal tycoon. The daughter's name is Penelope, where she has one wish for her 19th birthday, a private concert with Winter Young. And so now the two of them meet and things kind of happen. So 
I am super intrigued. Um, I think it also follows the bodyguard of Penelope and Winter. And like it might be a romance between the two of them versus then what you initially thought, which is what I initially thought, which is Penelope and Winter. I think it's the bodyguard and Winter. So very intrigued by this one. Next one I got is also from a publisher, Unsolicited, and that is the Jassad Air by sarah hashim this book is out in july 2023 so it's pretty early it says get ready for unmissable tale of shattered kingdoms forbidden magic and cunning royals in sarah Shahim's egyptian inspired epic fantasy debut it says a 10 year old the heir of jassad fled a massacre that married her entire family at 15 she buried her first body at 20, her carefully crafted lies are starting to crumble. I am very intrigued by this book. All right, then the next three books I got are also from the publishers, um, Unsolicited, and that is The Iron Raven by Julie Kagawa. And then they also sent me the sequels, uh, The Iron Sword, as well as The Iron Vow. I'm assuming this book just came out, which is why it's only in hardcover and the other two are paperback. I just find it so ironic because I plan to pick this up for the Magical Readathon, which by this point of filming, I have not picked it up yet. I'm still like mid-month. So I'm like, did they know that I was trying to read this series? Like what? Um, but yeah, so now that once I finish reading this book, I will be able to tackle these two books if I so choose to. Um, and this is supposed to be like part of the Iron Fae series. I want to say this is a spin-off series off of her original one that came out like 10, 15 years ago next book i got is from the publishers and that is the daughters of isdahar by hadir el spy this book was supposed to be one of our book club picks but unfortunately i just never read it because me i was busy and um just never got onto it so but i heard lots of people really enjoyed it it's about this like elemental magic it's about two um teenagers and one is like already like very powerful but she's trying to learn to control her magic and the other one's just trying to start off learning her magic i've heard good things about the book overall so i'm very excited to read this next book i got is also from the publisher unsolicited and that is guardians of dawn zahara by sj jones this book is out in august 2023 uh it says sailor moon meets cinder in this new richly imagined fantasy series it says magic is forbidden throughout the morning realms magicians are called abomination and blamed for the plague of monsters that raised the land 20 years ago it follows a girl called jin zara who has enough to worry about appeasing her stepmother's cruel whims looking after her blind younger sister and keeping her own magical gifts under control without having to deal with rumors of monsters re-emerging in the marsh. But when an easily flustered young man named Han brings her into contact with a secret magical liberation organization called the Guardians of Dawn, Zara realizes there may be more to these rumors than she thought. A mysterious plague is corrupting the magicians of Zanhe and transforming them into monsters. And the Guardians of Dawn believe a demon is responsible. I'm actually really excited for this book. This sounds really freaking good. All right, then this next three books I got are from my book of the month picks. And the first one is Romantic Comedy by Curtis Siddenfield. The next one is Wayward by Amelia Hart. And the third one is Adelaide by Genevieve Wheeler. I don't remember what these books are about, but I just know that this one is like a romantic comedy, hence the title of it, and it seems like a lot of fun. This book I've heard just a lot about, same with this one, so it seemed interesting, so I picked up these three. We'll see how these goes. Next book I got is from the publisher, Unsolicited, and that is Tell Me What Really Happened by Chelsea Sedoti. It's about a group of friends who went around this creek or something, and now their friend is missing. Four friends came back, are under suspicion, and they each have a very different story to tell about what happened in the woods. The clock is ticking, where are they hiding, who is lying? Dark truths must come to light if their friend is to be found. I'm very intrigued, I love a good thriller. Next book I got is from the publisher, and that is Thorn Hedge by T. Kingfisher. This book is out in August 2023. It is a very tiny little book. It says, there's a princess trapped in a tower. This isn't her story. So if it's not her story, whose story is it? Very curious about this one. Then this next book I got is one that I'm super fucking excited for. I was one of the people who backed up Brandon Sanderson. So I finally got the first book, which apparently was like incredibly delayed. And now I'm just waiting for the second book to come out. But the first one is Tress of the Emerald Sea by Brandon and Sanderson illustrated by Howard Leon look at this book guys it is so pretty and the inside too like hello but yeah and then there's like illustrations in here as well like look at that and they're like 
color too. That's really freaking cool. Um, yeah, I have no idea what this book is about. I feel like everything was kind of like hush hush. Uh, but it says, in the middle of the ocean, there was a girl who lived upon a rock. This was not an ocean like the one you have imagined, nor was the rock like the one you have imagined. The girl, however, might be as you imagined. Assuming you imagine her as thoughtful, soft-spoken, and overly fond of collecting cups. It's by Brandon Sanderson, guys. I am so here for this. Next book I got is from the publisher, Unsolicited, and that is Wolf Pack by Amelia Brunskill. This book is out in June 2023, and it says... Wilder Girls meets We Are Where Liars in this suspenseful novel about a knot of girls living in a cult and the suspicion that one emerges when one of them goes missing. Another Y thriller? Sign me up. The next book I got is from Fairy Loot and that is The Fox Glove King by Hannah Witten. Look at this stunning edition, guys. It is gorgeous. Like, look at this, guys. Look at this. Like, everything about this. This is, like, all decked out. I love it. I have no idea what this book is about, but this cover is stunning, and it's something to do with magic and this, like, cult. Uh, I see this, like, magical city, sainted king, a monk, forbidden romance. All great things, to be honest. All right, then this next book I got is from the Illuminate uh, Exclusive Edition. It is a book that I read before, but I really enjoyed the series. And since then, I've been trying to look for a nice exclusive edition. And they dropped this one, and I was really excited for it. And that is The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden. This is book one of the Winter Night Trilogy. And I cannot wait to see what the next two books look like because this book is stunning. Next one I got is a pre-order that I made and that is Nightbirds by Kate J. Armstrong. This book, it says, the first lie was that they were alone. The second was that their magic was not for them. The third was that they were safe. I mainly got this pre-order because I really like the pre-order incentive, which I think was like either, I usually go for a couple things, either character cards or a poster. It usually has to have at least one of those things before I'm interested to do the pre-order incentive. So I'm really excited about this one. Next book I got is also a Luma Crate exclusive edition and that is A Restless Truth by Freya Marski. This book I got mainly because I think I was ordering something else and I was like it was cheaper to just bunch a couple things together for shipping costs. Um, and this is the second book to A Marvelous Light that came out, I think, last year. And I think I cannot wait to read this. I haven't read the first book yet, so I have no idea what that one's about. But we'll see how this goes. Next one I got is also a pre-order, and that is Revel by Lisa Mia Smith. This one is about an island of Charmani where magic flows like bootlegged champagne and fantasies can be brought for the price of a gemstone. This book sounds amazing, and this cover is gorgeous. Next book I got, I think, is from the publisher, Unsolicited, and that is a song of Salvation by Alicia Dow. This book is out in July 11th, 2023. It says the fate of the universe comes down to three people, Zyra, the god of creation reborn, Wesley, the smuggler, and Ruben, the wanted space podcaster. As an intergalactic work culminates on Earth, the three of them are all that stand in the way of total destruction. I feel like one of them does not fit in with the others. You know what I mean? Like, what? Um... Yeah, I'm curious about this book, but I haven't heard much or anything about this book before. Next one I got is also from a publisher, Unsolicited, and that is Promposal by Rachel Garrett. This book is out, uh, came out this month, May 2023. It says, an overachiever must decide if risking her heart is worth the reward. So it looks like a cute YA romance. I'm not usually the biggest fan of YA romance anymore just because I feel like they're very unreliable and like unrealistic so we'll see how this one goes all right then the next three books are also from book of the month picks the first one is a river sing me home by eleanor scherer the one after that is age of vice by deep d kapoor and then i got cloisters by katie hayes i don't remember what this book is about. I want to say it's like dark academia fantasy type of story. This one I think is just like a general fiction. It might be historical fiction as well. I'm not really sure. But it's supposed to be like a powerful read. And then this book is one that I was really excited for because I've heard so many people talking about it. Saying it was like one of the best books they've read of the entire year. So I was super curious. I have no idea what this book is about. But I'm just going to go into it blind and see what happens. The next one I got is from a book trade. And that is The Dead Romantics by Ashley Poston. This is a romance. And I've just heard so many good things about it. So I definitely can't wait to read this soon next one i got is also from a book trade um i know i like kind of shot on the first one but at the same time it is a entertaining read and all about like palette cleansers and entertaining reads like mindless reads and this is perfect for that and that is zodiac academy ruthless fae this is book two of the zodiac academy series 
I'm not the biggest fan of like bully romances, which is why I'm like half the time I'm like ick. But at the same time, it's one of those like situations where like traffics where or like those accidents where it's like horrible, but at the same time you can't put your eyes off, like take your eyes off of it, like that kind of situation. That's kind of like me reading this series. Then the next book came from the publisher Unsolicited, and that is One for My Enemy by Olive Blake. I feel like after she wrote the Atlas Six, all of her previous books have been like taken by agents or like publishing houses and they're all being released one by one. I feel like that's kind of the situation because I feel like if she's gotten so many books coming out in the next like year or two and I'm just like what? So I feel like it has to be because their books were written previously and they're all just being published now. I have no idea what this book is about. It says intricate web of love, magic, and rival witch families in New York City. Sounds great. Then this next one I got is from the Unplugged Book Box and that is Hunterland by Dana Clare. This book says grab your stakes and your rock salt, the monster hunting class is in session. The one thing I would say about Unplugged Book Box, which I am a rep by the way, I will include the link below in case you want to check them out, as well as my code, is that they tend to pick books that are very like indie books that you never hear about, but they also sound really fascinating. So I'm super curious about this book. The next book I got is from the Goldsboro subscription and that is Shield Maiden by Sharon Emmerich. This book is so pretty. This book is basically about a heroine with a generous spirit, an unshakable will, and a dragon's fury. And it's something to do with Beowulf. So it's like a retelling kind of. Very intrigued. The next book is also from Goldsboro. I think I got a bunch of them all at once because there was this whole like international shipping incident where there was nothing going in and out of like the UK and that's where they were sending all their books from. So for like a month or two, nothing from them and suddenly everything arrived. Um, so the book I got from them is The Witch and the Tsar by Alyssa Savnikova Gilmore. This book is stunning. It says, I was not babushka lying on my stove in the throes of advanced age and infirmity, nor was I a hag, a demon, or an illness. My father may have been mortal, but mother has been a goddess since before the Christian god had come to Russia. Those who came for succor has found it in my hut. Healing filled the empty dowers of my days, kept my hands occupied and my mind busy, gave me a sense of purpose. If I could live among mortals, healing and advising them, I would. But the legend clung to me. The legend of Baba Yaga, built on lies and ill will. Wait, this is the story of Baba Yaga? I am so here for this. All right, and this next book is one that I'm super fucking excited for. And that is an Illumicrate edition of The Stolen Air by Holly Black. Look at this cover, guys. It is so interesting. Like, I would say that this is not what I had in mind when it came with the cover, but this is what I really liked. I don't really care much for the dust jacket, to be quite honest. But the inside, though, is stunning. Um, I'm so excited for this series, guys. I cannot wait. I've just been a little hesitant on picking it up because I'm like, once I read this, I need to pick up the next book. And I'm not the most patient person. So I'm like, I'd rather wait to binge it than for me to read, wait, read, wait until the series end. So very excited for this one. Then the last two books I got were from my Ferret Loot pre-orders. And that is the Legendborn and Bloodmark series. Look at these covers, guys. They are so freaking gorgeous. I absolutely love Legendborn, by the way. It was so freaking good. So I cannot wait to read Bloodmarked, like, ASAP. I have it on my TBR for a couple of things, and I just cannot wait to read this, guys. It is... The first book was so mind-blowingly good. Like, it caught me off guard. So anyways, these are all the books I got for the past couple of months. Let me know down below if you have read any of these books before, and if you have, which books should I dive into first? Were there any that, like, was super pretty, the covers, you know, that entices you to read it? Let me know down below as well. But as always, if you like this video, please do give me a thumbs up. I really do have on my channel. And if you'd like to see more content of me, please don't hesitate to subscribe down below, as well as the notification bell. And as always, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.